Hey guys, welcome back to Clever Style. Now, it's a special edition of What's in Her Purse today. Obviously, I don't have anybody else with me like we normally do on this show, but some of you guys have asked for me to tell you what's in my purse, so that's what we're doing. So we're gonna open up my little bag. This is a little studded, budget-friendly bag that you've probably seen on the Look For Less. So I love a good budget-friendly bag. You don't feel too bad about like, giving it a little beating here and there because I'm kind of hard on my stuff at times. So anyways, it's budget friendly, it's right on trend, super trendy. So let's jump into the purse. Starting with the basics, obviously. We live in Southern California, I think everybody says this on what's in our purse, but, so I have my sunnies. These are some of Dolce & Gabbana's brand new sunnies. I'm obsessed with them. I'll put them on for you. They're clear and they have these like opal inside of them and they're clear. That's like the hottest trend with sunnies right now is having this, you know, things inside the glass that they hold. So these are my sunglasses. I'll spare you and I won't do the whole what's in your purse with my sunnies on, but I really love them. So that's the first. Let me show you how beautiful those are right there. All right. Um, Another thing, I'm always a big fan of having stuff to refresh with because you never know what you're gonna be doing, where you're gonna be going, what you're gonna have to run to immediately. So one of the big things that I keep with me is eye cream. Now this is Origins Genzing. I use this all the time. As you can tell, it's gotten a little scraped up and you know, just from it going everywhere with me. But it's just a little bit of eye cream and you can put it on over your makeup, under your makeup, and you just take a little and put it under your eyes and it just like totally wakes you up. It gets rid of those dark circles. I just think it makes your whole look become just like way fresher, even if it's like late in the day. So I always, always, always keep Origin Genzing with me. It's like one of my favorite things. I need a new one, see, it's all running out. Okay, so that is something I always keep with me. So I feel like it just brightens up the whole face. What do you guys think? Pat it on, super easy. See, I didn't even need a mirror, which is one of the things I don't keep in my purse, which it probably should. All right, but another thing I do keep in my purse are these proactive um, makeup cleansing wipes. Now, the reason I keep these in my purse is because I usually, if I'm not going somewhere with a friend or I like, like I said, I like refreshing things. So if I'm going to the gym, I can take my makeup off. If I have been late in the day and I just wanna redo my makeup, take my foundation off and start over, but I don't wanna take my eye makeup off so I don't wanna wash my face, these are a great way to just get rid of the foundation, start with a fresh slate besides the eyes because those always take too long to redo. So this just is really, really great. They have so, so multifaceted. So I keep these with me all the time. Almost out of these too, man, I need some new stuff. Okay, so that is another thing that I have in my purse. Ooh, another thing that I keep in my purse. You guys don't laugh at me. I keep nail polish remover in my purse and this is a little guy and it's piggy paint and it's non, acid. there's no acetone in it. But the reason I keep nail polish remover in my purse is because I'm a freak. So when I go get my nails done and they chip, I, I cannot stand it when I have chipped nails. So the me as soon as they chip, I'm taking it all off. Like especially if I don't have the color that to like give it a touch up, I'm taking it off immediately. So I always wanna have this with me. You never know when you're gonna chip, get a chip and have to go somewhere important. So I keep that with me. What else? Obviously I have my phone. I know that you guys like, duh, of course you have your phone in your purse, but I just wanna show you this. It's the Biebs. It's a case by Solaris, I love it. So I love the Bieber. I can't lie, no shame. I got the fever for the Biba. All right, I keep that in my purse, obviously. Um, another thing that I always keep in my purse is my sheer cover concealer. If you guys watch Clever Style at all, you guys know that I'm obsessed with sheer covers concealer. It's the best, actually. One side of it is all gone. Oh, but this is great. So I put this on after I put on my eye cream and I am like fresh and ready to go if I'm going somewhere new. Just midday freshen up. Just need a little bit of like a pick me up, gotta have that. And if you have this with you, I mean, it covers up blemishes that just pop up. You never know what's gonna happen and you never know who you're gonna meet that day. So I keep that with me all the time and it's super little, it doesn't take up much space. Um, another little trio of things that I keep in my bag is all my pink lipsticks. 
I'm obsessed. So I have to keep my stain, which is by Kat Von D. I keep my NYX gloss to make sure it looks dewy. The stain doesn't get like gross and matted. And baby lips if I just want a little bit of color, but I don't want it to be as bold it is right, as it is right now. Obviously, I've got like a lot of the stain on. So I keep this little trio with me. And yeah, these three little gems, they are my faves. NYX is one of my faves. I feel like their lip glosses have the best color pigmentation. And pink, you guys, as you know, is my go-to. Um, another, my last, I think it's my last, my last makeup thing that I keep in here is my mascara. Colossal Volume by Maybelline, super budget friendly, best mascara on the market, I would say. Whoa, that was a bold claim. But I really think it is. So with mascara, my pink lip glosses, and my concealer, I am set to go. So if I don't have my makeup with me, I can get a fresh face with just these three things and be good to go. Because you're, as you guys know, your concealer can always double as a foundation if you need it to. Just put it in thicker in the problem areas. So I'm good to go. That's why I keep all those three essentials with me at all times. Um, my keys are in there. This is like my key slash wallet, just a bunch of junk. But obviously my coffee card, because I'm obsessed with soy lattes. It's really a problem. I love them. Oh, I always keep a teasing comb. This is why. I always feel like I need a brush. I feel like that freshens up your look, but who's gonna keep a whole brush in their purse? So I keep my teasing comb, and it can double as a brush. As a teasing comb, I can really just jazz up anything. So this is just by Conair. As you can tell, it's been in my purse. It's like bent a little bit. Oh, I fixed it. And it's, oh, my phone's ringing. <laughs> um, turn the beads off, shh, beads. Okay, so yeah, I keep this with me at all times. It's been through the ringer, obviously. Maybe it's time to invest in a new one. They're like $2 from the drugstore. Um, always keep hair ties and bobby pins. Bobby pins if I need to freshen up my hair when I'm going out. Hair ties if I'm going to the gym. Or just want, you know when you have long hair and you just want to get it out of your face? I keep that too. That's another reason. I'm running out of places to put things. There. Um, ooh, this is random. I have a Tootsie Pop in my purse. Don't really know why I have that, but who, who doesn't need a Tootsie Roll? Pop. <laughs> All right, and last but not least, you guys, I always keep floss. You never know. When you're gonna need floss, when you've eaten an apple that just gets stuck in your teeth, it's my biggest pet peeve. So I always keep floss. Again, I think my whole idea of my purse is that I can refresh and start over just with the things I have in my purse. So this is smart floss. And it's in a little pretty pink container. And I can't lie, a lot of people at Clever ask me to use my floss. All right guys, that's all I've got in my purse, at least at this point in my life. It eats. It's a never ending cycle of things that get thrown into the purse, especially this one's smaller, so it's good because I have to keep it kind of like on lockdown, but if I have a big bag, whoo, you never know what you're gonna find in there. All right, thank you guys for watching What's In Her Purse, and we'll see you soon on Clever Style. Bye guys. Guys, what to wear? Confused? Should you wear the shirt? Should you wear the dress? Who knows? For all the answers, make sure you subscribe to Clever Style. Click the button. You won't regret it.